Namaste. So let's talk about chapters 14 and 15 of the Vidyeshwara Sanghita of Shiva Purana. These are very important chapters. If you haven't watched the video or listened to the reading of these two chapters, do it now, and that, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I notice that the readings get less views, like half the views of the Spiritual Insights videos. Um, that means you're not listening to the actual chapters, the, the material that I'm talking about, the context that I'm referring to in these Spiritual Insight videos. So it's very important you should go through those two. In fact, you should hear them first and then watch or hear the Spiritual Insights. That'll make everything so much more meaningful and useful for you. Okay, these two chapters talk about karma yoga. Now, if you're wondering why you don't feel like you're making spiritual advancement, or why it's hard for you to meditate, or why love of God isn't blooming in your heart, huh? if you're wondering uh, or having difficulties in any area of your spiritual life. It's probably because of insufficient performance of karma yoga. Karma yoga is the foundation. It generates the punya or virtue, the subhakama. Subhakama means good karma that leads to uh, advancement in spiritual life. You have to have that before you can really get into bhakti or anything else. Your life has to be in order. And you have to have what uh, my Adi Guru would call a good fund of knowledge. So these two chapters reveal so much about holy rituals that the results of the rituals differ according to the day of the week, for example. And that so many different rituals are available. You know, it's like you go into a big restaurant and the menu is 20 pages long <laughs> and you have to select what am I going to eat, you know, out of all these choices. Well, it's the same with spiritual rituals. You can choose according to your preference, according to your Ishta Devata, your preferred deity, according to the days of the week, uh, depending on what kind of result you want, uh, you can satisfy all your desires through these rituals. You know, it, people don't believe this, but it's true. If you perform these rituals on a regular daily basis, things will just drop out of the sky. I'm telling you, it's magic, okay? Because this is God <laughs> reciprocating your worship. Whatever you do for God, God will do for you. But when he does, it's like 10 times or 100 times or 1,000 times our tiny little efforts, uh, our imperfect worship is reciprocated in perfection by God. So take advantage of these rituals and make your life perfect. Huh? Then you can go higher on the scale and attain the really esoteric goals that will be discussed later on in Shiva Purana. Now, these two chapters are notable for a couple of reasons. One is that these are the first two chapters in Shiva Purana that have phala shruti at the end. Phala means fruits, and shruti means hearing, comes from the root shrav. So, to hear the results of studying or hearing or learning these chapters. This is a very important part 
of the study of any scripture. And in Shiva Purana, the results are amazing. Uh -huh. Like in chapter 14, he says, he who hears this chapter or reads it, or he who facilitates the hearing of the same shall derive the fruit of Deva Yajna. Huh? What is the fruit of Deva Yajna? All desires satisfied. We all need food and drink and enjoyment and shelter and clothing and companionship and so many other things. So these things are absolutely uh, achievable through the process of Deva Yajna. Deva means God or gods and Yajna means sacrifice. So by offering things to God, according to the rules in the Shastra, which are our only guide, really, that means we get, by, by means of the law of karma, we get the results. Now, what is that law of karma? This is also described in chapter 15. Theism is that feeling in which one fully realizes that all actions are consequential. In other words, everything we do has a result. Everything we do, every action we perform is a cause, and that cause brings results in time. We don't know when, we don't know how, because the law of karma is divine. It's inscrutable. It's beyond human intelligence, al purusheya. Uh, it's, it's so subtle and complex. Really, only God and goddess know how this law of karma is working. But it works for sure. So any actions that you perform in worship of God are sure to have wonderful consequences. And any offenses that you make will also have consequences. Mainly, the results of the good actions are delayed. So you want to, on the one hand, perform uh, sacrificial rituals for God. And on the other, you want to avoid offenses. And that means offenses to the Lord or to his devotees. So what is the result of studying or hearing the 15th chapter? If he performs the sacred rites with dedication to God, he shall attain salvation. He who reads or hears this chapter becomes righteous and endowed with knowledge. See, this is why I recommend that you hear the reading, because just listening to me talk about it is not going to give you the same result. So you should go back and listen in detail to the reading of the chapters, and then you will get the results. See, now you'll be amazed by some of the Fala Shrutis in the upcoming chapters of Shiva Purana. I mean, it's amazing. Just by hearing certain chapters, for example, one is guaranteed liberation. This is huge. Just by listening to a chapter? Well, don't discount it. Because when you hear this knowledge, it goes in through the ears. <laughs> and it resides deep in the mind. You know, the mind contains recordings of everything we've ever experienced. And so it remains in the mind, and slowly, slowly it connects with all of our experience. And we begin to view the world according to the uh, summary or the total of all the knowledge and experience that we have in our life. So by hearing these wonderful scriptural descriptions that go beyond human intelligence, one's intelligence actually expands and one becomes uh, spiritually intelligent. You get divya jnan. That means spiritual knowledge and realizations. Just by hearing. Shravanam, kirtanam, mananam. Remember? from chapter 10, by hearing and then repeating and then by contemplating or meditating on the what you have heard, 
you get all kinds of spiritual benefits. Why do you think I'm taking so much trouble <laughs> to read all these chapters and then to discuss them and give the meaning and interpretation of difficult points? Because there's so much benefit. The benefit is described actually uh, back in the first Sanghita in the chapter on how to, uh, how to arrange a reading of Shiva Purana. I didn't record that chapter or those chapters. I think there's two or three chapters about that topic matter. That because it's so elaborate and so complex, really nobody today has the ability to do it. But guess what? We have the internet. So simply by recording and reading these chapters and posting online, so many people are benefited. And the reciter, moi, gets tremendous benefit. <laughs> and I'm feeling it. I'm experiencing it. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you can tell my life is coming together. I'm feeling so happy. Everything is going great. Why? Subha karma. That means by karma yoga, the uh, good karma, the, the bank account, if you will, of good karma increases more and more. And because of that, so many obstacles are nullified. So many things that could happen like accidents and stuff like that are nullified. Uh, uh, good luck comes. You cannot see how it's happening, but it happens. Other people's attitudes change. Other people's actions change. I've seen the people around me benefit and advance spiritually from my good karma. Just the action of reading and recording and disseminating this scripture has created so much benefit in my life. I'm not going to bore you by listing it out, but trust me, it's happening. And you can see, uh, I'm so happy these days. So I'm going to continue this for sure. This is the panacea of all panaceas. Panacea means the solution to all problems. And I'm here in an astrologically a very powerful Jupiter zone up in the mountains in a pure environment with good people who are also devotees and who believe in what I'm doing and who see by my actions that my motivations are pure. And because of this, everything is auspicious. Jupiter now is approaching the Earth at its closest in 67 years. And so these readings are going out into the world and slowly, slowly becoming more and more popular. Uh, they're also a podcast, which you can access by the links in the video description below. And if you want, then you can go anywhere and be listening to Shiva Purana. And as we've gone over, you'll get so many benefits. So please take advantage of this program. Listen to all the readings. The readings are more important than the analysis, trust me. My thinking and, and my ideas are really not very good, you know? I mean, I don't really go into details because I'm trying to cover a large amount of material and just give the overview. So really, do yourself a favor and listen to the readings in detail. And this will give you so many benefits, you won't be able to count them. I promise. This is my <laughs> promise to you. So I'm experiencing myself. And you can experience this too. And ultimately, you will attain full enlightenment, complete self-realization, and personal association with Shiva and Shakti. Aung Tat Sat. That means whatever I have said here is sacred and true. Aung Shakti Aung. She's really my mentor and my sponsor who has brought me to this position by worshiping her. 
She's so wonderful. Aung Namah Shivaya.